Hi, this is Lux. I wanted to spend some time talking about what's new in Regroover 1.5. Actually, there's been an update or two since then, so I'm just going to lump it all together. But mainly, I just want to go over some cool things that I've discovered you can do with Regroover that I hope will help you get more out of this plugin and uh, get kind of extra creative with it. So the first thing I figured out by pure accident is the gate, which they added, I think, in the last update, is this little effects panel. So we have a gate, a EQ, and a compressor. I won't spend time in explaining, obviously, what these do. You know that. Yet, I will show what I figured you uh, figured out you can do with gate. Now, I've loaded a drum loop in here. And it's clear that there's a little room presence uh, reverb there in the loop. What I found on a lot of, of the loops that have effects is that you can either lessen them or entirely remove them by gating the tails that appear in the layers. So, for example, it might seem like there's no reason to gate that, and there might not be, but uh, let me preview it. Now, I've been kind of aggressive with the gates, and in this example, I'm not going to spend too much time getting picky about it, mainly just so you can understand what you can do with it later. So I'm just going through, as you can hear, just cutting out the... Yes, I'm making it a little choppy. I get that, but it's okay. Actually, it tightens up some of the loops when you do this. More release. And together. Start it over. Yeah, so try it out on a lot of different loops. You're going to have varying results, but essentially be aggressive with the gate. Gate out some of the areas where you would find the effects or the effect tails living. It might even be necessary to turn layers up to six and then split it because you're going to have more information to gate out. So give it a try. Let me know if it works for you. Okay. Now what they've added in 1.5 is on each layer we have a grid now, which is wonderful because prior to that you were kind of at your the mercy of your eyes. Now we have something for the in and out points to lock onto, and you can move the brackets around as well. And what I thought would be neat, we have a loop here, a little electronic-y uh, percussive loop. And let's just cut this in half, which you can obviously do without Regroover's help. Better yet, I'm going to cut it into quarters. So let's go all the way down to a quarter. And once I've done this, we'll preview and listen to the loop at this point. Obviously, nothing magical about this at this point. All right, something very similar to the original loop. But now that we have the control of moving these brackets around, we can begin to create a new one, a new loop that is, by doing so. So let me move this here. I'm going to move this towards the end. I might keep that where it's currently located. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep move this here. Let's move this bracket over to the right. And I'm going to keep this here to kind of keep some order as we're going to get a wee bit chaotic. But results obviously will vary, right? You're going to get some really cool things. You're going to get some really horrible things uh, out of this. But you can create some interesting polyrhythms by creating uh, these in and out points that aren't just locked to your 4-4 grid. In this case, I am still. Uh, I am. Yes, I am. And we'll still have some interesting results. So let's see what happens.
All right, slightly different loop based solely on the fact that we've kind of chopped little parts off here and there. So now I'm going to do something like I mentioned before. I'm going to create uh, brackets that are in no way adhering to our 4-4. Four, four. And let's just scoot these around a bit. Like I said, rev results will vary, but I have no idea what we're going to get out of this. Let's listen. Nice. Now, obviously, if you get this set right, you're going to have a loop in a way that will never repeat, or eventually it will, but it'll be a long time before you get the uh, layers to sync. All right, so you move the brackets around into some interesting locations, and now you're going to get a really nice, unique, evolving, non-repeating loop out of this. So listen. You might consider this difficult to, I guess, capture. I have at least. So uh, I'm using Reaper. It doesn't make any difference which DAW you're using. I've routed the audio from Regroover into a second track, just an audio track that I have set up to record its output. I set up a MIDI a clip that just has the notes that are associated to the layers. So I don't have to hit the preview button. As a matter of fact, you can't. If you hit the play button in your DAW, the preview button becomes grayed out, which is fine, but it'd be nice one day if they added a, to trigger all the layers simultaneously with a single note. So what I'm gonna do is hit record, arm this track, hit record, and the audio from Regroover will now show up as audio on the track here. So let me hit record and we'll just capture what's coming out of Regroover into a new audio file. Okay, so we've captured something. You get the gist. I think it's worth taking it a step further. So that I guess the whole point of Regroover is the remix aspect. And it might be fun. I found it fun to record as you're moving these brackets and in and out points around. So results will vary. There are going to be points where you're like, okay, that's really cool. And there are going to be points where it's just some chaotic mess. But as long as you're recording, it doesn't matter. Uh, because you can then chop those segments out and build your own new loop out of those cool moments. So let's see if we can find any. Okay, enough of that. So now go back through the loop, find moments that work stitch them together, I think you'll find some great uses for this technique. Now for the fun part, I haven't had a bad result yet of this technique. What you do is you create two tracks, regroover on both, and you load the exact same loop onto both. So in this case we have, same exact loop over here. All right, now let's go back and do what we did earlier. Let's grab the grid and take what I'm gonna call this left regroover, select moments in time on this loop. So I'm gonna do that to the same on the, oh, to the same regroover on the right and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have created loop points that are different on the left regroover and on the right, except they do have the same loop. So what I'm gonna do now is just, of course, play them at the same time. Let's listen. Let's take it a step further. Let's just go hard left, hard right. And this is kind of where it really gets cool in my book. All right, you can see the possibilities there. I've tried it on a handful of loops. So far, so good. So you guessed it. Now process the left and right separately, and you can get some really cool results. All 
All right, have fun with these. It'd be really cool to see what you come up with. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.